Hey everyone, this is the third video of report portal series and today we are going to discuss about the layout of uh, report portal. By end of this video, you will truly be able to see how this report portal makes a difference in our report storage, report visualization and report analysis activity. How the different widgets of a dashboard help us to visualize the different trends that our launches are following. Uh, like different kind of uh, high level overview of our launches are summarized very beautifully by the different widgets within the dashboard right so let us go through first different ui elements so here uh, on very top this one is like what is the current project that we have selected as a person you might have access to different projects and from here you can switch the project now uh, this is the dashboard here all the dashboards will be displayed here we'll be having all the launches this is the export import uh, functionality will be available here as well like once you will select the launch there will be option to export it here you will be having the filters this is a debug window where you can like if there is a launch uh, to which you want to get into more details like there are some failures for which you want to check the logs at very detailed manner like there is a, a functionality within report portal like different kind of uh, logs can be ca can be captured here so in the debug window you will be able to see a more low level uh, logging details as compared to the launch level so we'll we'll see this in action in a future video but as of now you can just consider like whenever you need to debug a particular launch you can send it here then project members in case you want to invite a team person a team member you can invite from here just click invite and uh, fill the user detail and the uh, invitation link will be sent to the user and uh, here you can see there are different roles associated whether you want to make him a member a project manager uh, operator customer so basically project manager will kind of have more or less the admin right on the project level as of now we are having the admin access on the entire report portal so currently you are able to see one project here but in the organization what happened like there are different projects different teams working upon so as admin it will be the admins report portal admins responsibility to create different projects and add members in that and if for example i am a qa lead of my project and i have one project assigned to me as a project manager then as a project manager i can add several qas member within that particular uh, project or maybe some other stakeholders like business analyst customers who just need to view the data they do not need to investigate something right uh, so this is about project members then we have project setting now here you can see different type of settings are there like uh, how many days you want to keep your launches say 90 days forever those kind of options are here right and similarly this is for launches and this is for logs like logs at the step level how many days you want to keep those logs with you right then keep attachment these are different settings that we have here integration in case you want to trigger the emails you can do the integration with email server similarly you have uh, notification rules that you can configure we'll see them in action but as of now just giving a high level overview here you can uh, configure your different type of defects these are like predefined defect types which you will find and as of my experience these are enough you can uh, do almost every time of uh, defect categorization under uh, this particular five four defect ranges which are here product bug means uh, application issue automation bug means framework issue system issue means either environment is down service is down no defect means it was just some random uh, issue that you faced just once and it is not happening now like on rerun the test cases are passing 
of course you can consider it as a automation issue as well but in case there is nothing that you can fix at the automation side and the inst instance is something like maybe once in a 10 or 20 times then you can mention it as a no defect right then to investigate the issues that you need to triage or you need to investigate them right so this is like some uh, auto analyzer thing that we have discussed in our previous video like on what basis the analysis should take place for example if i quickly go through this minimum should match for auto analysis percent of words equality between analyzed log and the particular log from the search engine if a log from the search engine has the value less than set the log will be ignored for auto analysis so when you will be analyzing uh, first of all few of the uh, test cases will be automatically analyzed as per the previous uh, decisions that you have made during the investigation on basis of what is the word match like what is the errors uh, the stack trace that is being matched right on basis of that this decision will happen so this is the setting about that only then here you can also configure some uh, customized analysis as well right and this is for demo data like uh, we will have a look into this because as of now our dashboard is empty and we haven't integrated the report portal with any automation framework but as of now we want to see how the dashboard will look like how the launches will look like so what i'll quickly do is i'll go to this uh, uh, administrate part so just an overview about this one as well we have gone through these options right so profile if you go under profile here you will be having option to generate the api key so this api key is really important consider it as like we need uh, a key to integrate our automation framework with the report portal then this key will be required right and this is the configuration example for different type of uh, programming languages right like if you have a java based automation framework you can use this it is clearly saying here that uh, copy and save these are the required property and these are not required so copy and save it as a report portal dot properties file right this endpoint is nothing but the current url of the report portal api key the key that we will be copying from the previous window we need to pass it the launch name whatever the launch name will be generated and after each launch name um, a index will be appended every time like launch one launch two launch three those kind of things then project name whatever the project name is like as of now um, the launches will be if i will take this configuration the launches will come into this project which we have here but let me create so you how to create the another project so for that what i'll do is i'll go to administrate part and here you can add the project so for example i want to add a demo project to just have a quick overview of the screen and here i have we can see like this as of now i am the only member of course i can add new members as well but for now i do not need to do that and now once you will be here you will see the demo project has come here and i have selected it now i'm in demo project and now if i go to administrate again in front of demo there are various options like members that we can add monitoring settings and, and assign so i need to go to settings part right and within settings here we can create the demo data to have a feel of how the dashboard launches filters will look like so in the end like when i will say that generate demo data will be having five launches one dashboard with 12 widgets and one filter yeah so now uh, i'm on demo and uh, we still have the five launches now so here we have five launches right and one filter this filter if we open it it is filtering on the basis of this attribute which uh, like all the launches which uh, are having this demo attribute the attribute can be seen here right so attribute can be considered as a concept of key value pair but value is not always required for example in this case 
we only have a key for attribute demo so this filter is just filtering on basis of all the launches which are having the attribute demo now this is launches and uh, yeah so if we talk about the launches like here we have 10 test cases in fifth, first launch 15 20 25 and in the end we have 30 right and if we talk about uh, uh, we here we have passed and here we have failed so in the last one all of the 30 got passed in fourth we can see five were failed 20 are passed in third we can see 10 are passed <coughs> and eight are failed and two got skipped right then similarly here we have the other stats in the first one we have 10 out of which one pass nine failed so this is about filter launches and now talking about dashboard so we have one dashboard with 12 widgets so these widgets are really crucial to have the uh, view of the launches like for example uh, here we have a widget for launch statistic area so what does it say launch wise information is present here right and in the very first launch we had 10 test cases out of which nine got failed right eight were system issues and five are yet to investigate so these five like in total the number is getting different the reason behind this is like this is a demo data normally what will happen the count of all the four type of uh, defects like system defect product defect uh, then not a defect then automation defect and one more yeah fifth step to investigate all these five type will sum together to form failed test cases right but this is a sample data and even if you see uh, let me go to the launch uh, i'll go to the very first launch just to give a quick overview so here we are having nine test cases and one is automation eight is system issue and the five that you are seeing here again normally it will not happen but these are all before class after class before method after method these none of these are test cases right again depending upon how you configure it uh, it will not happen in the real time cases in the real time cases this sum count will be equal to sum of all these different types that are here i'm talking about some of the failed test cases right now let me go to the dashboard again and let me go through this widget so we know 10 test cases were there nine failed so this you can see it is giving you a view of trend of how after each launch like what was the state like if i talk about last one 30 test cases were there all of them got passed right then we have the same kind of data but only with uh, in form of a bar this was an area now in bar we can see in the last one 30 test cases were there i clicked on that and here you can see this is that launch right total 30 all of them are passed so i'll go back so these these filters these uh, widgets you can create by clicking on uh, like here we have add new dashboard here we have add new widget so there are different type of widgets provided uh, each of them is like having its description as well uh, but most of the used ones are already added here right so this one is for that and now this one is uh, like in the launches that has happened how much how many are already investigated how many are still there left to be investigated so this is a trend chart for that now this is a trend chart for test cases growth how after each launch what was the test case count now this one is really important normally uh, like here you'll see it is showing you some of all the launches which are there but normally if you are running regression you are mostly uh, considering only the latest run right so you can create a widget maybe in one you want to keep all the tests but uh, i have seen that normally it doesn't make sense to show all the launches all the test cases from all the launches in one normally i will 
see that kind i will be like kind of more eager to see this kind of information like what was my last status uh, last launch status right so here we can see uh, we had 30 test cases all of them passed right so this one is for that and it will kind of give you also like how many were product defect how many were automation that kind of information now this is for duration like how much time it took each launch right then this one is overall statistics donut and again this one you can also configure with the same thing like if you want only the latest launch just have that right Then this is failed cases trend chart. Similarly, you have launch table, which is showing the last launch, most failed test cases. Now this is something which you will be um, interested in to fix the test cases, which are always failing, maybe in past few launches. So this particular widget is for that. This one is for passing rate summary. You can see overall, like what was the stat. Again, this one also, uh, here you are able to see that this is giving you a so the percentage ratio of past test cases in total test cases including or excluding skipped one or set of uh, one for set of launches right it has taken some overall uh, launches and took a calculation on that did a calculation on that and then showed the widget as per that right Now this one is flaky test cases like if you see here flaky means it was passing once then it got failed passing once then it got failed so in the end you will here see the one like this one passed was failing this many time and then it passed so this kind of information also it gathers right so here you can see it kind of uh, did the analysis on all the launches which were there and can give you the relevant data as per your need instead of going through each and every launch you can have the brief overview so now after the end of this video I think now you know that how it is really helpful in analyzing the data not only analyzing it is also helpful in storing your test execution reports right and perform the test analysis smartly as well so that's all for this video guys and in our next video we'll do the most interesting part which is integrating the test report portal with for example first we'll have java based automation framework we'll see how to integrate it with cucumber right so that's it for this video see you in the next video thank you